flushable zip from our stock firmware. In other words, how can we make something like this that includes the meta INF folder, system files, and system apps, all the libraries from our stock firmware. Basically from the IMG and the system IMG, right? So here are the things that we need. First and foremost, we need our stock firmware. In my case, I will be using mine, which is a my phone, my 87. It's a Philippine brand phone, and I've been using this one for a year now. And second one is this program, so called USG. It is available in the internet, so don't worry, I will be pasting the link down in the description box below. Okay? So, what we're going to do? What are the steps? First and foremost, we need to open this program, and as you can see, we have here different folders. We have the add on folder, the pin, the output, the project, so on and so forth. And most important thing is this one. Okay, the executable file we're in use to run the program. And the second one is, as I have mentioned earlier, our stock firmware or any firmware that we like to make a flashable zip. So what we're going to do is we only need two things. We only need the boot.img and the system that img. Again, that is system and boot img. So what we're going to do is simply copy. Okay, just copy that one and paste it here inside the folder called project. Paste. Just wait for it. Copy files. Okay, so welcome back. It is done. So after pasting the boot.img and the system.img into the project folder, all we need to do is to right click this application and run it as administration administrator. So yes, then wait for the program to execute. Okay, so the program is on, so keep it run uh, for a while, just to turn off my antivirus here, so I have this doing some real black operation, so I forgot before proceeding, please to turn off your antivirus, so fine, I have this mod up, so Allow until restart. Okay. Okay. Sorry for that. So let's try to continue. Now, inside the program, you will see different options. Okay. So we have the generator, the tools. Okay. So we will not be discussing this one. So we'll be focusing much on the generator. Now, uh, uncheck everything. If you can see, we have here the pack in zip. Clear data media, basic box, super SU, gaps, expose, edit, that magisk, and sign that zip. Now, first and foremost, we need to know the Android version of our firmware. So, mine that is Marshmallow. So, we have Android 4.4 to 6.0. So, basically, if you don't know the Android version of your phone, just click auto, okay? And it will auto generate. Will predict the Android version of your stock firmware. So, my I know so I think it was click Marshmallow here. Now, <coughs> important thing these are the options that you want to include in the flashable zip. So, if you want to install BCBox, you can do that. Super SU, you can also do that. Or 
if if the flashable zip has no gaps, which is for me it's very impossible because I'm just stuck firmware, so basically gaps are included. So that's and quite unnecessary. And also if you want to install the exposed module, okay, you can do that. Uh, the magic and sign that zip I'm going to sign the zip file. But for me, this uh, box and Supreme SU is super super SU is enough. Okay, and after that, all you need to do is to click generate in a little bit of your patience. Right? So we'll just be forwarding the video. Okay guys, it's done. So it took a while. <laughs> so if you can see here, updater script generator done. So click OK. And after that, we can now close this program in exit and our file will be located at this that PMP or that temporary folder. Open it and we have the family. We have the updater script here. Call star C Android updater script. Right? Let's try to see if we really have updater script on it. So edit with note plus notepad plus plus. So it's okay. So here it is. Okay. Now updater script you can actually uh, modify this one if you want to write your name as installation of seeds, okay? Whatsoever you can do. Just be careful not to change important things though, because it will uh, make create an error. Okay? So we also have here the system folder, and it will contain all our system apps. Okay? So in this case, if you want to remove some hardware's can do so, example, the drive. You want to do is click on that one, right? Or the email thing, you can get that whatever you like, right? It's up to you. And we also have the uh, inside of system folder, also we have the build properties, right? So we have the build prop. So in here, you can actually edit some things, right? The name, patch, build version name of your phone which is mine and also if you want to add tweaks on it okay you can actually import tweaks and paste it down here okay so i will not do that so it's up to you what we're going to do so i hope you guys have learned something about this video okay and if you like this video please do hit the like button i will really appreciate that one so that's all folks and see you in the next video. God bless.